Hello, Terry here, and we are back with Contemporary Gods, the part 5, or what episode is this? Episode 6, I think, or 7? I don't really remember. Anyway, yeah, we are continuing after our group just getting uh, dismembered, not dismembered, that's horrible. The, uh, this charge, this abandoned, whatever it is, this group, yeah, whatever the word is, our group just split, yeah. Like that and now we are alone so yeah let's continue playing the game shall we I've come so far but I'm just left alone again I could have just stayed on my little planet in, in imperious realm and never humiliated myself like that oh come on don't give up like that Yun. I never met oh <laughs> uh-huh you like them all aren't you I'm just one god. Who am I to tell them what to do? But someone clearly should have taught them a long time ago. If what they want is to do is to drive the world to ruin, someone should have stepped up. It shouldn't have fallen onto me. But I'm the only one who did. Why are my feelings not valid? Oh no. I don't know what to do next. I can't go back to my planet, can I? I left, I left Imperius Realm as a hero, savior of the world. I can't go back a failure. I don't want to just go back and wait for the world to get worse either. I need to come up with a better plan, something concrete, something that will actually help people. If it's even possible. Was everything, was all of that just a dream? Was I really just chasing a fantasy, desperate to make it real? No, you're not. I've woken up now. What do I have left? I can save humans, so what I want is... Studies. Oh, freak of mania. I don't want to study your... Your freaking... Shred. Mesmery... Blueprint. Mm. Mesmery is already convinced enough, so I guess let's go to Lucran. The question feels ironic, it reminded me of him. Lucran knew this would happen. He warned me from the start. I think back to all the times he told me that Unity could never happen. It's almost embarrassing how adamant I was. I even convinced him to change his mind, only to prove him right immediately after. But he didn't have to give up so quickly. I told him that attitude is defeatist. Defeatist, okay. But if I was wrong about being able to save the world, maybe I was wrong about that as well. No, not really. You're right. What? Come on, don't just give up like that. My heart continues to sing as my thoughts spiral. What do I want? I had always wanted only one thing, but now I feel unsure and the burden on my heart won't go away. I don't know what to do with it. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't ever want to see me again, but if anyone would understand this feeling, it's probably him. Okay, we're back to capitalism. I returned to the main floor of Lucrant's tower. The statues let me pass, staring silently after me. Before I had found the desolated interior of this realm depressing, now I don't mind it as much. The grey lifelessness matches how I feel. Oh, oh no, Yun becomes an Yun becomes an edgy, what do you call it? Uh, edgy gothic person. He's not here. He must be in his office. Could be. Let's go to his office then. Hello, Lucran. When I enter his office, Lucran is facing the glass wall. At first, I think he's looking out over his domain, but when I get closer, he has something in his hands which he quickly puts away when he sees me. Is that a mirror? Yun, what are you doing here? Uh huh. I have no idea either what I came here to say. I can tell what Lucran thinks about me being here either. I thought you deserved to be the first to laugh at me. 
But really, don't have such a low confidence. It's just mania, right? Uh, let's let's mock them. You were right. I was naive to think that I could bring all the gods together and save the world. I acted like I had all of the solution when I knew nothing at all. Imperia said I was the savior of the world, and I really believe it. But like you said, it was just a fantasy. Look around fixes me with a peculiar look that almost reads like concern, so it quickly gets smothered by his usual conceit. Honestly, I say those things and you just ignore me and stage a break in, but Mania says them and you give up immediately? Mm, yeah? I don't know what's wrong with you, I'm not influencing them. Yeah, you. why are you being such a baka? It's different. Susi Baka. What happened to I always intend to follow through on my words? Really, it's very strange seeing you like this. Is something wrong with you? But uh, you three abandoning them? Uh huh? That was r <laughs> that's the thing that is wrong. <laughs> yeah, you yep, you're not very good at the comforting people, are you? Look at an air of haughtiness visibly falter as he avert his eyes. Yep, clearly the behavior of an imposter. Ah. Oh. Is that what... So you wanted me to... It's interesting seeing Lucren look flustered. Even when he is being teased by Mesmery or Mania, he always has some barb or threat ready. But the prospect of comforting someone has him genuinely thrown. Really, you came to me of all people. I mean, who doesn't like money to comfort themselves? <laughs> I love money to comfort myself, really. I mean, uh, why don't you sit down? Alright. When I don't move, Luke Rand carefully takes my hand and guides me over to the sitting area of his office. I sing to the sofa and he takes a seat next to me. Sorry, you don't actually have to do this if you don't want to. No, I just... I wasn't expecting. Realizing he's not getting anywhere, trying to explain himself, he runs a hand through his hair and sighs before, scythe before starting again. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I know how terrible it is, realizing that everything you have wanted and worked for was pointless. I may have said those things to you before and I said them to be cruel, but I didn't actually want you to experience to experience what I did. I wouldn't wish that feeling on anyone. It hurts. Yeah, it does. Neither of us know what to say for a while, but strangely it doesn't seem necessary. I feel a little calmer with the Lucran next to me. Knowing without words that he understands. It hurts, but we are connected in our pain. Okay, congratulations, you edgy couple, or whatever. I forget the marriage song. Eventually, Lucran breaks the silence. Have you all, have you really given up? I don't have a choice, do I? I can force the other gods to help me, and I don't want to do that. Lucran falls silent again. He seems to be thinking about something. But he doesn't try to change my mind, he just nods. Before I might have found it cold, but now I'm glad that Lucran wouldn't say anything he doesn't mean. Yeah, he, he, he will probably just say something stupid. I'm sorry that the chance you took on me didn't pay off. I know it was unlikely too, but you still took it because I convinced you to. I mean, there's no much, uh, no, there's no much loss in there. You give yourself too much credit. You may have nagged me into it, but if I really thought it was a bad bad, I wouldn't have done it. Do you regret it? No, the risk didn't pay off, but that doesn't mean I didn't gain something else from the experience. Ah, it hurts now, I know, but in the end, we can only pick ourselves up and carry on. Yeah. I suppose that's all I have left to do. Just find another propose, another way forward. I said a lot of mean things about you when we met, but now we are kind of the same, right? 
Me and Nia told me I might go down the same way you did. I didn't want to believe them though. Maybe that's just what in inevitably happens to dreams. I don't know. Could be. Dream, dream could be tyrant. We are we are we will fear later in the future. Eventually you're forced to wake up. You listen. I may have projected a bit when I met met you. You reminded me of things I rather not remember, of a person who would not be proud of what he's to become. But I have changed my mind, I don't think you're the same as I was anymore. Even though you were right about me. Tell me, do you hate Mania and Mesmeri and I for not being able to cooperate? No, I was kinda of mad at you for a little bit, but I didn't hate you out of them. The blame is there is on me too. Then you are better than I was. Am I? I thought I was better than you too, than all the other gods. That's why I, so I was so demanding that you be the ones to change. You are better than us. Miss Mary and I were to own up in our own resentment, our own anger and hurt. To ever think about reaching out to the others, we could never have overcome those barriers. Even now you come here more worried about disappointing me than about losing your own purpose. That's not true. I'm... I am s selfish. Now you and you're a gamer. You had a real reason to be hurt. You wanted to help humans and they disappoint you, disappointed you. But me? I don't even know if I really wanted to help people. Maybe I just wanted to be a hero and does it matter? Does it really matter if you don't know whether you want to be a good person or you just want some fame? In the end, you do good, right? That's what matters. Life is too complex for ourselves to understand and our own self is too complex for us to understand too. So just live your life. It's okay not to know why do you do this stuff or that stuff. Who needs reason? <laughs> I mean, yeah. We have a limited time, we are a fleeting being. So just relax and enjoy your life. That's what Imperial always said, I was supposed to be special. I was supposed to be different from you all. I didn't have domains, or friends, or anything, so... So maybe I'm sad because without any of that, I don't have anything. Not even my own dream. It's pathetic, isn't it? Could be. At least you have a real reason to be hurt, I just... Yun, let me show you something. Alright. Lucrens pulled something from his coat. With a start, I recognize it. It's the mirror. Imperious mirror. Wait. Was that what he was looking at when I came in? Show me, Yun. Unity. Ah. What a strange child, especially to appear in a realm such as mine. My other children might eat them alive should they eat like, <laughs> oh no, you... So, do you mean eat them like the cabinet cannibalism stuff or the sexual stuff? And such an unusual timing for them to form. Unity, why would something make them appear when the world is the most fractured it has ever been? Perhaps even in this barely conscious state, they can sense that they are needed, and they form to answer that call. Uh-huh. Even before Imperia put the thug of saving the world in your head, you wondered what, what, what was best for it. That is your essence. I stared at the mirror. I never even thought that Imperia would have created an entry for me. I failed then. I failed Imperia, I failed the world, and I failed me. You're right. Uh-huh. <laughs> if you are talking about your original goal, you failed it just as I did. Yeah, I agree, but it hurts a lot more hearing it from Rukran. But that doesn't mean you have wasted your time. Because I had to learn that lesson? Perhaps. Or perhaps by coming this far, you can find another way forward, or figure out a better goal. If you still believe in helping people, there are other ways to help. I don't know. 
If I'm the right person to help them though. You may be right, but you have decided that. Don't let anyone decide that for you. The last time you were here, you asked me what my true desire is. Oh, you're right. I didn't have an answer at the time I could tell what you wanted me to say. That I wanted a world that was better and free of selfishness, or one where my original dream could work. Or just for things to have been different. But I have thought about it and I don't think any of those are my answer. Those are things my past self would have wanted. You appealed to that because it was the cleanest solution for you. But all I needed to do was remember what I used to believe in and follow my heart. Because that's what I would have done. But is that... Was it wrong? I can go back to being the person I used to be. That would be against my nature. Capitalism is a system that demands progress. Desire is always in the future tense. Once you have finally grasped it, it ceases to be desire. That means I always have to be looking forward. Oh, the two sides of the same coin. Desire and regret. You desire something in the future and you regret something in the past. My old system failed for a reason and if I return to it, I will just repeat my past mistakes. I'm sorry I made those promises based on what I thought was best for you. But I didn't actually understand, and I almost convinced you to make the wrong choice. Let me finish. I can go back to being opportunity, but that doesn't mean I can still become something else. Mm -hmm. My system was built to adapt to people's desires, even if it means that capitalism becomes something that's unrecognizable, or if it becomes obsolete. You are misguided, but you still helped me realize that I had gotten stuck in the same place for too long. What you did for me, believing in me, it wasn't pointless, not at all. Ah, it's almost dizzying the relief I feel, knowing that I did actually help someone, just one person. The catharsis is strong enough that I don't have words for it. Yun, you good? I'm fine, keep going. Very well. The last time you were here when you asked me what I wa what it was I truly wanted, you say to forget about what I thought was possible or not, but I couldn't. I won't wish for things that I think are impossible that are beyond the scope of my control. That's part of how I went astray in the first place. What I do want is change I can create for myself. That's my answer, that is des the desire I'm going to pursue. The plan? Thank you for telling me I'm glad you, that you made your own decision. It's much better than the one I would have chosen for you. Many I was right, but I wasn't wrong either. Mm -hmm. Unity can make a difference. There you smiled. You're smiling too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being around you does strange things to me. Yeah, yeah, enough talk, just kiss. Both of us have come so far from when we first met, and we both ended up in a different place than either of us was expecting to. But that's okay. As long as change exists, no matter how incremental, hope will as well. Now I'll return to the question. Question? After all that's happened and all I've said, what is it that you want, you? What do I want? Lucran has decided that he's going to take a different path now and focus on what he thinks is attainable. But I... I want to talk with Mesmer and Mania again. Very well. Will you come with me? Lucran folded his arm over his chest, looking cross. Please. <laughs> if you need me, I will be there. Uh -huh. I can fight the grin blooming across my face. I came here convinced I had reached the end of the road, and yet now, I think that I have never felt freer. Okay, so are we going to visit the other gods? A peculiar sight greets us when we arrive in the shared realm. Mesmer and Mania are caught up in some kind of alter altercation. 
Mania holds Mesmeri at arm's length with apparent ease as the smaller god tries to charge at the... <laughs> you don't deserve to go see you, you bully. Oh, Mesmeri, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, cry harder. Oh. Mania spots us, which alert Mesmeri as well. Yun, don't mind Mania, I'm banning them. <laughs> I'm banning them for eternity. <laughs> yeah, perish. Wait, did you just come out of Lilith's realm? Well, yeah, there, there, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Oh, did we catch you in the middle of a date? Or bad? Looks like neither of us are welcome here, Miss Marie. Lucran makes a face like he's debating going back on his work. <laughs> but he endures the ribbing stalwarty, stalwartly. Yun has something to say to you too. It's very convenient that you two are here. Did you two have something to say to Yun as well? Thank you, Lucren. Actually, I have to apologize to everyone. First, I'm sorry I couldn't hold this, hold this group together. Yun, you don't need to apologize for that. Ooh. I do, because if I were a better unity, maybe this world wouldn't need saving. That isn't your fault. If anything, we are to blame. Mesmery. I blame you for putting up those walls in your domain, insulating people, separating them. I say that was a poor response to people fighting each other. I misclick. I was wrong to criticize you for that when I don't know for sure what the right response was. You did what you did what you could when you were suffering. I wish I had understood that understood that earlier. Aha. Uh -huh. I wish I had understood too. You open my eyes, you no matter what that, I will always know that to be true. Thanks, Mesmeri. You changed me forever too. I swallowed before continuing. Lucan? I made you remember a lot of painful memories. I promise you that I will not let any of that hurt you again. My voice trembles and breaks. Mesmeri makes an aborted movement, like she wants to come to my side, but Lucran stops her with a sharp glance. After making sure she won't interrupt me, Lucran meets my eyes. It's okay, go on. I'm sorry that I let you down, I'm sorry that I, that I dismiss your pain and I and couldn't I don't know what I was asking you to do. I'm not a helpless godling that needs you to protect me. Ah. Uh -huh. I know, but I tried to anyway, and I'm sorry. I need to apologize to you too, Mania. You. You were right, and I wish it hadn't taken that argument for me to get that. These apologies are necessary, we understand you. And look, you did so well, young Padawan. Lulu is chill now. Oh wait, that's a Jedi voice, not 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 to say it. <laughs> look at angry. No, I do not. I do need to apologize, especially to Mania, because I have made my decision and I have another request for you all. You might think it's selfish of me, but if you will let me... Are we gonna try again? Oh, I'm not in the habit of trying the same thing over and over after it's already failed. Will I try something different this time? No, I have decided I don't want to change my mind. Is that... Is that okay? I'll support you, of course, but... Mesmeri glanced wearily at Mania. Why are you looking at me like I'm about to tag? Mm-hmm. Well, are you? I've said before, Yun is free to do as they wish. I've put a lot of thought into everything that I have done and what I have learned. I don't want to talk you over you all, and I don't want to push aside any concerns of or reservation you have in the name of Unity. But I still believe in it. A world where humans care for, the, for each other, care for their planet. A world where they can see a brighter tomorrow ahead of them. That's... I know it's a dream, but I choose to dream it. Oh, oof, I felt that. I believe in it too. I want to see that future. Mesmer, you don't have to. I want to you. I know, but I want you to figure out your own dreams. If your vision of a bright future includes United, I'm honored. 
but it needs to be because you believe in it, not because you want to please us, maybe. We can disagree, we can argue, we can teach each other things and grow from it. That's why I wanted to ask you all to walk this road with me again. Even if we aren't walking together, my request is this. Please, please don't let anything that I have done convince you that the future isn't worth fighting for. It's a tough ask, I can just force myself to believe. But chances are next to zero. I say the word just as Lucrent does, which visibly catches him by surprise. I know, but even if it's 8 billion to 1, please believe in it. You must know those are bad odds. I smile weakly. What do we have to lose? Oh, come on, Lulu, you don't have to play tough anymore. You came here to support Yun too. Don't lump me in with you. I don't believe in this dream. But I will watch though. So, it could be that you change my mind again. Thanks, Lucren. Many I know it's a lot to ask after everything. You truly don't give up, indeed. I wouldn't be united if I could. I don't know a lot about all the issues threatening the world. But I have learned a lot since I met you guys, and I'll continue learning and doing all that I can. It seems the problems on Earth are enough to humble even the gods. Healing it will take, I don't know, at least the same amount of effort on our end, if not greater. But I can give up. I choose not to abandon anyone. That's what unity means to me. I see. You have grown, and at the very least, I can respect that you had the courage to ask us again. It's a shame that it's impossible to save everyone. You almost make me wish that it wasn't so. Mania? Esmeri lurched forward, grabbing Mania and me by the wrist and pulling us towards Lucren. <laughs> group hug! Oh no! <laughs> no, 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 no group hug! <laughs> This is a big moment for us, maybe our first moment ever. <laughs> Lucrens is with us in our hearts. Forever we shall remember him as some sort of a hole, but yeah, uh, a nice a hole, I, I don't know. But that's good. Anyway, yeah, I will then use this eology. Let's just go for the group hug. Oh, please! Absolutely not. Looks like a growing heart didn't make Lulu any less lame. <laughs> uh, it won't be enough with just the four of us, though. Even with the size of Mania's domain, there's a lot of other gods out there too. Even Imperius isn't faultless, or should I say, especially Imperius. Yeah, I still have a lot to learn, huh? I know, but I also believe that the gods all do one what's best for the world. They might be difficult to work with or hostile, and they might all believe different things. But so did the three of you, and now you're my best friends. Ah, oh, Lulu's really gonna let it slide. I'm gonna spread a rumor that you have friends now. Capitalism is over party, now Lulu X Yun is my OTP. <laughs> Mesmeri leers at the two of us. I'm not certain what an OTP is, but I think I can guess. What are you talking about, you little lame? You and Sid, we're all their fr friends. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. The lady doth protest too much. You're losing your touch, Lucren. Even Mesmeri is picking up on your feelings. F feelings? I do not have feelings. <laughs> we are getting off topic. Only because you are getting flustered. Mm hmm. Lol. Guys, this is important. I'm trying to. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, that's the shaking. Another tremor interrupts me. Lucren and Mania drops their smiles immediately, the latter looking faintly th thoughtful with Mesmeri a bit behind. That was. The realms. Yes, we have a lot of work to do. This might all be an impossible task and time is running out. 
Even so, it's worth a try, right? I mean, I say the four of us standing here would be impossible, but look at us now. You're right. We have to try. Even if the other gods don't care about the fate of the world, even if our combined powers aren't enough to save everyone. What if unity isn't the right answer, though? Then even if we, can, if we make change, it might not be for the better. But it's still a change. And I assure you, if it's not a better one, then one day a better one will come to replace it. That's just how life works. OMG Mania, read the room. We'll be here, Yun. We'll be here. Yun asks us to watch them. We'll tell them if they start to go astray, and they will do the same for us. Yes, you watch me. I'll carve a place out for unity in this world. I'll make it so compelling a dream that gods and humans can help but believe in it. A brilliant new world people can be proud of. And I'll become a die worthy of them. A deity. Whether unity is the answer or not, I don't know. But humans worship it, that's why I'm here, and I never want to fail that. I see. What human worship? I want to be worthy of them too. I want to build a social media that does bring people happiness. Something that actually heals their hearts. Yeah. And Lulu can try uh, to make a domain that helps people instead of kicking them while they're down. <laughs> And Mania can, I don't know, take a long wall of a short pyre? No, don't. The most important thing is that the real unity was the friends we made along the way. I heard you embarrassed to have said that. No. Let them have this, Lupran. They have their works cut out for them from now on, but it seems they finally understand what it means to believe. Foolish. Maybe, but it wouldn't hurt to go along with it for a while, huh? Just to see how it goes. As I've said, there could be a merit in sticking around. Oh. Oh. Yay, this is just the beginning for us, guys. It looks so. The art looks so different. Oh, this is very. This is nice. With all of us working together, we'll definitely win over all those boring old gods who don't want anything to change, and we'll find a way for all the humans to come together and stop fighting. Oh, and stitch the realms together, fix global warming, free Britney, what? Free whom? Save the bees, and poverty and violence, nip the new hooks. <laughs> I suppose we could try to do some of those things. Keyword, try. That's alright, Lucren. There are a lot of problems, maybe there are even problems we can con conceive of yet. Maybe some things don't go as we expect. What matters is that we keep trying. No matter what. Oh. And there we go, fade to black. Fin. Oh, that's nice. Credit? Come on, credit, credit scene. There's no credit scene! Well, there's an option for credit still, there's no credit scene, how could you? <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Credit. Contemporary Gods, created by Forget Me Not. For, sorry. Forget Me Not Games, follow us, already done. Credits, Frank Writer, Pico, Farad, exit, 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 Existential Death. Now she, Going Going Kev, Rahul. Yvonne and music, purple bonnet music, Arcanite, Rampy. Nice. So I guess that's all for contemporary gods. It was quite a long visual novel, I must say. It did get a lot of good points at focusing on each character so we can know them better, but I feel it's kind of too long. Yeah, the, the visual novel is too long, I feel. Too long with a lack of assets, but that's good. Th that's fine because this visual novel is trying to chase a jam, and they did try to improve it. So I guess that's all for contemporary gods. I hope you enjoy it. See you later then in my next video. Bye bye.